Hello, this is the third and final installment in our series of tutorials that will teach you how to find articles using CINAHL, the Cumulative Index for Nursing and Allied Health. If you haven't watched the first two tutorials in this series, you can find them on the Gerstein Library YouTube channel or under Guides and Tutorials on the Gerstein homepage. In our previous tutorials, we learned how to access CINAHL, perform basic CINAHL searches, and how to find, use, and combine CINAHL subject headings to achieve relevant search results. In this tutorial, we are going to learn to run keyword searches and limit our CINAHL search results. Keyword searches are helpful in certain situations. For instance, in our previous search, we looked for articles on nursing interventions for successful breastfeeding. If you know you are interested in a specific nursing intervention, then you may wish to perform a keyword search for those more specific terms. In cases where there's not a relevant subject heading, you have to use keywords. When you're trying to be extremely comprehensive in your search, you can use keywords as well as subject headings to make sure you're not missing anything. There is always a chance that an indexer has missed a certain keyword while going through articles. When running keyword searches, it's important to brainstorm as many related keywords as possible so you can be as thorough as possible in your search. For now, we are going to look for articles related to breastfeeding. Let's enter the term breastfeeding into the search box. On the main search page, make sure the search option is set to Boolean phrase and that suggest subject terms is not selected. CINAHL has found over 5,000 results for this term, but wait a minute. Breastfeeding can be spelled as one word or as a two word phrase. We want to find all of the articles which relate to breastfeeding regardless of how breastfeeding is spelled. People also sometimes say lactation, so we want to find articles that use this term as well. To do this, we will need to search for all of these synonyms for breastfeeding, combining them with Boolean operators. To review what we learned about Boolean operators in our previous tutorial, the most common Boolean operators are the phrases AND, OR, and NOT. AND is used when you are looking for records that contain all of the words in your search. OR is used when you are looking for records containing any of the words. And NOT narrows your search by excluding the term that comes after it. Because we want to retrieve articles that contain any of our terms, we are going to search with OR. Let's type breastfeeding or breastfeeding, our two-word phrase, or lactation into the search box. Let's pause and look over our search terms before we proceed. We know that lactation is sometimes used to refer to breastfeeding, but maybe articles also refer to lactating mothers or other variations on the word. We could try to brainstorm any and all of the variations on the word lactating, or we could simply truncate the word with an asterisk. Placing the asterisk will tell CINAHL to search for any words that start with lactat. This will include lactate, lactation, or lactating. Again, make sure that suggest subject terms is deselected. Now we are ready to search the database. CINAHL has found over 15,000 results. It's great that we've covered our bases by searching several keywords for the same concept. And if you're scared by the number, remember that in a real search, we would combine it with our other search concepts and the number will go down and relevancy will go up. Now let's limit our results. Click on the edit button to the right of our search. The search options pop up appears and we can start limiting our results. There are lots of ways you can limit your search in CINAHL. One option is to limit by publishing date. Let's look for articles that are the most recent. We will limit our search to articles published between 2009 and 2011. CINAHL also lets you limit by language. We are going to limit our search to English and there's a special button to do this. But there are many other languages which are represented in the database. They are in this menu box below. We can also limit our search to articles that deal only with humans. The journal subset option is very handy. Because we're interested in nursing perspectives on breastfeeding, we can choose to look at results only from nursing journals. These are all of the limits we are going to choose for now. Let's save these changes to our search by clicking on Save. Now you can see the limiters we have placed on our search in the search history. You can also see that instead of the 15,000 or so results we had before, we only have around 280 results, which match all of our search criteria. If you want to change the limits of the search, you just need to click Edit again and follow the same process as before. 
In this tutorial, we learned how to search CINAHL using keywords and how to limit our search results. Playing around with keywords and limits will help you achieve relevant results for your research topics. This concludes our third and final tutorial on searching the CINAHL database. Thanks for watching!